after some time, he revealed himself to my daughter. But that's not my testimony, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share my daughter's testimony. Then after a while, he revealed himself to my son, you know, and the twins are the only ones that haven't had an encounter yet that I know of, but my big two have um, had an accountant with Jesus Christ himself. Um, actually, my daughter's had two. My daughter's had two. My son, my oldest son's had one account that I know of, but my twin boys haven't. Actually, one of my twins, yeah, one of my twins had a, a bad an encounters with the, the devil, yeah, and he kept me up for like three days. Yeah, the, the devil came in his dream, one of my twins. But, um, it's just with everything else. If you go onto YouTube, you see some people have had experience with heaven and some people have had experience with hell. So, you know, um, yeah, the supernatural is real. Jesus Christ is real. Um, as I said, I'm going to be coming and being so transparent. I'm going to be telling you my testimony. Um, just reveal everything that the Lord has done for me in order to be helping somebody else because do you know what as well um, the mental health has gone up like people uh, have got anxiety depression this that if people started telling you what Jesus has done in their life you won't be having all these things because all these depression anxiety is spirits it's a spirit it's just a spirit yeah and what did Jesus do with those spirits he cursed them out he cursed them out now let me tell you something here you don't need no one to come and be in your house and say, oh, I need to go to church for this. I need to go to church for someone to lay hands. No, 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 no. Right there with your word of God, get your word and cast that thing out. Lay hands on yourself. But doing that, you can't keep repeating the same mistakes. I know we're not perfect and it took me some time to understand this as well. But when you're sick and tired, you will curse that thing out. You understand that you can't bring no past or whatever time and you start taking ownership before your own spiritual life you understand what i'm saying yeah so yes sometimes we're babies in this i get it but the quicker you just get in your word and have a relationship with god god will it will um see you through he'll see you through sometimes god will wake me up in the morning come let's pray come let's talk come let's do this you know so Everything that sometimes we're running to in somebody else, like a pastor or a woman of God, it's right there. You just got to make that time to build yourself. Even if it's 15 minutes in the morning to just build yourself or just be with the Christ, just be with the Holy Spirit. Just build yourself, yeah? I'm not saying churches are bad. I don't have nothing against churches. But for me, I had my testimony of church. I had my season of church. Now it's the season of telling you guys what God has done in my life. And... I have my own personal relationship with God. So please don't think that I'm here telling you that the church is a bad. The church have wronged us people, you know, because they should have been getting us ready for some signs and seasons and times and things like that. But you know what? There's a living God. It's not too late. I don't want to come here and start bashing the church. No. You know, we are the church. We are the church. The Bible says we are the church. So, you know, my job is to pray for the church, to pray for the leaders. You know, I pray that even in this time of this lockdown that they get it together. But when I say get it together, more in prayer, more in prayer. It's not about you. It's not about the, you know, we focus a lot on the pastor. No, the churches of today, it's not about the pastor. It's about the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is not in that church, run, 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 run. But later on, I will recommend you some good churches because they are some good churches where I, where my where my journey started. Yeah, it's a very good church and um, the man of God there and his wife, they're very good people. But um, that's for people that you're young, you're young in the things of God and you need a base at first. You know, you need grooming kind of thing. But um, when you're at the meat stage and you know that yeah, you, want to, that you, you want that time with God, you love spending time with God. So yeah, we, you know, we'll be learning from each other. We'll be learning from each other because... Um, it takes a village to raise a kid so yeah i wanted to start with them meeting jesus first because that that was just so awesome like and you know what we're in when we was in that quarantine time i was like reveal yourself again to me come and see me again like i long to see you like i talked to i talked to like like 
Sometimes I talk to him like a father, sometimes I talk to him like my husband, sometimes I talk to him like a friend, like, you know, because the Bible said he was Abraham's friend, you know. So sometimes I, I long to have an, another account with him. I've had, I've had, he does things that, that I know that it was him. He does supernatural things that I know that it's him, but that face to face again, I think, would I ever have that? So um, it, it was the, the quarantine time, the lockdown, that was when I was like, nah. And do you know what as well? I want to touch on fear. Anyone that's dealing with fear out there, yeah, that is a bad spirit. It's a bad spirit and you have to, you have to constantly like pray against it, curse it out, use the um, scriptures, yeah? First Timothy 1, 7, yeah? God did not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and the sign mind. You've got to curse it out. You've got to keep saying the, the, um, the scriptures to just renew your mind, yeah? Because the enemy had me to a point where my mum passed away, I backslided, then I thought, oh, I can't get up, I can't do this. But then the Lord is telling you, do it. You know, the Lord is like, do it, do it. And I'm like, listening to the enemy, that I can't, I can't, I've done this, I've done that. And the, the Holy Spirit's like, I don't remember all that. I, you've repented, I don't remember that. So we, me personally, I thank God for that lockdown. I thank, that, I thank God for the quarantine time because I couldn't go nowhere. God had my full intention, and it was that like, we're gonna deal with some stuff. And then um, I have a brother in America. He's so good. He's so good. God bless you, my brother. He's so good. He's so good. It's down there in Arizona. Thank you so much for praying with me, believing in um, what Jesus has put on my life. I just want to say thank you to him because when all the people run. You don't know who's gonna stay. You don't know who's gonna stay and touch and agree with you, you know? And um, there's a mum here as well. There's a, a, a nice lady as well. Auntie Christine, thank you so much. Beautiful lady, praying with me, praying for my children. Um, she's Ugandan, but I, just because she's, it's not about because she's Ugandan, it's just, God just happened to put her in my life. Um, telling me materials, read this, read that. YouTubers as well, there's some YouTubers, I'll be naming them, as, I, as the weeks go on I'll be naming them, just saying thank you to them, um, Deanna Dixon, I need to say thank you to Deanna Dixon, like, just when I thought to myself that it was all over, like, 2019, I was um, in my son's place, and then the Holy Spirit was like, jump onto her, like, I was just flicking on, and then the Holy Spirit jump, jump onto her, it's a lady called Deanna Dixon, guys, if you've been through, if you know, well, I always speak to women a lot. If you're a woman and you know that you've been through like some mess, some mess, jump onto Deanna Dixon. Go on YouTube and follow this lady, yeah? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Doesn't sugarcoat. She's been through it. We, we, people are wait, looking for people that have been through it and have come out. And they're gonna tell you the truth. She rebukes. If you think that she she rebukes, she is an on point woman of God, apostle. She rebukes. Louisiana, down, down in Louisiana. Why is God connecting me to America? I don't know, but yeah. We pray for America this time as well. We really do pray for America this time. The Lord's been speaking about, about that nation. We pray for America. Please pray for America. You know, even if you have family, friends down there, just pray for America. Pray for that nation. Pray for America. Pray for UK. Wherever you are, pray. Pray for all nations. Pray for all nations. Pray for Uganda. And pray for all nations. But um, yeah, I just like uh, you know my first one. I just want to dedicate to certain people because these are people that God put to just push like boost me up and just like yeah remember in the bible it says about jonah the the um the well had to vomit jonah out that's what happened in the quarantine god was just like like you gotta start you gotta talk you gotta and then he, he brings people to confirm it this is your season da, 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 da. people inviting you on their platform and you're like you want me on your platform They're like yeah I want you. you know so it, the times and the seasons like if you're truly called by Jesus Christ, you, you, like, me personally, I see all these Facebook preachers and stuff, 
if you're really cool, yeah, no disrespect. Um, I was running from it. I was running from the call, yeah. Jeremiah as well said, I'm not ready. And Jeremiah is a, is a good prophet if you read his, um, my story is a little bit like Jeremiah, yeah. And Jonah again, and Moses again. I can go on. The ones that were really, really cool, they had a problem with it because they're thinking, I can't do this. But then we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're doing it with the Holy Spirit. And that's where we, we get scared at first. And we're thinking, whoa. And by the way, the, the vision will be bigger than you because it ain't about you. Yeah. So I was scared and I didn't know what to think or whatever. But then the Holy Spirit made me understand. Number one, Esther, it's not about you. Number two, I am with you. I am with you. You know. So you see all these um, fake prophets and people want to be in the fr forefront. Has God really called them? Because most of them that are really, really called, if you listen to them, they don't even want it. They don't even want it. I have a brother, yeah, in Arizona. Is it Arizona? I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. This guy is like a prophet. And I keep saying to him, the same words he's saying to me is what I'm saying to him. Get up on YouTube. People need to hear. People need to hear you. People need to hear your testimony. And he's gifted. And God loves him. God loves everybody. But I'm just saying, there's some real prophets that are called for this. But because of some shyness or because of some childhood stuff or because of what because there's always a because you know they're like they don't want to do it or the person could just be shy that like they don't like the camera or something but um he's gonna get up god is gonna use him he's gonna get up i know one day he's gonna get up and i, I and i he's, he's gonna get up he's gonna get up Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.